and welcome! My name is Ricardo, and this is my Studio Camp Event Tour. Thanks a lot again for checking out my tour. I'm going to show you different parts of my van. So I'm living in here over three years full time now. And I gotta tell you, it really feels like home. Same comfortable feeling like walking into a house or an apartment. I did all the build out by myself. I went online, did a lot of research, watched a lot of YouTube videos. And because I couldn't find anybody who has done a similar conversion like that, I just changed things the way I thought that make the most sense to me. I'm a film music composer and also a guitarist, so I need specific gear and I also wanted to have a proper full workstation in here, so I couldn't really compromise much on that. But everything turned out to be perfect. I can park any way I want to at any given time and start working. As for the living quarters, I'm super easy going on that. I don't need much to be happy. I was a touring musician in the past, I worked on a cruise ship, so I knew I'm gonna be fine with just a few things. So, let me show you around. Ram Promaster 3500, high roof extended. That's the largest version you can get in the United States. This is a 2017 model. Quite happy with it. A couple things here and there, but I guess that's normal for any car you buy. And I still do have a CD player. First cabinet I ever built in my life. That's all it looks like, as you can tell. Not everything is right in place, but just a couple plates and the essential survival things. My fridge, enough space for one person and it runs on 12 volts. I only use one propane stove to boil water and cook every day and that's enough for me. Down here, I keep my pots and pans, a thermos, have a second propane stove in case I want to cook outside. Running water through my electrical pump, and I have two seven gallon water containers in the back of the van, and whenever I have a chance, I fill them up. Gray water from the sink into the tank through a little hose. And behind that, you see an 11 pound propane cylinder. And with a splitter, that is also connected to my heater, which I'm gonna show you in a moment. My heater is okay for a desert winter, but certainly not strong enough for anything colder than that. The kitchen block by itself is from Ikea, actually. I had to cut off one of the walls and extend it so the fridge can rest on top. So, what do you think is the most commonly asked question of van life? You have an idea? Maybe? Where do you go when you have to go? And that water bottle is just for reference, that's not the actual one. For showers, I have two nationwide gym memberships. Quick demonstration how I set up my bed every day because I'm using all the space in the back for my studio. I somewhat had to look for a good solution to still have a comfortable sleep in here. And a Murphy bed construction turned out to be perfect. I can sleep both ways as long as my head is higher, depending on how I have to park the van, that's fine. And also if I'm not level from left to right, this thing is mounted on hinges. I just put something under the legs and I can raise it up a couple inches. I also do have plenty of storage below here. I use those plastic boxes for all sorts of things. I have three of the large ones and then two of the medium size. And since I have two sliding doors, I can also access everything from the outside. The rear of my working PC, all the cables go up and past the bed to the front of my studio. 
And I can put up a box screen if I want to keep the door open for nice airflow. I'm someone who chases nice weather, so for me it's mainly shorts, t-shirts and sandals. And most of it fits in those three baskets. Now to set this up, have to get a couple things out of the way. Gotta remove the hooks. That's what keeps it in place on both sides. And then... And finally, the best part of my van, my studio, a dream coming true on so many levels. Let me tell you, I can do whatever I want, any given time, anywhere. Anyone of you who works at a desk being seated for multiple hours a day will probably agree. It starts with having a good quality office chair. I have 800 watts of solar and my plan was to be able to power my full setup under ideal weather conditions with everything on. I also have two AGM batteries that give me 350 amp hours usable energy and I can run like from 8 to 10 hours during a long night session. control panel, remote switches to turn on my inverters. I do have two because I don't like fan noises. So one is just for my working PC. The third switch is to disconnect my water pump from power. Otherwise, if there is any leak in your water system, this thing will just keep going. Below is the remote control from my solar charge controller. That gives me all the information about the solar intake and the state of charge of my batteries. Next to that, a dual USB charging port. I installed a bunch of these around the van. In case I need to hook up to shore power, I installed this outlet. And since one of my inverters is also a charger, I can charge the batteries through here. It's worth mentioning that the whole system is connected to my car alternator, so when I drive, I can get some charge into the batteries that way as well. The front of my studio PC, loaded with multiple SSD drives, samples, software, all the good stuff, still going strong after three years on bumpy roads. It's just surfing, streaming movies, stuff like that, simple things. You know, the weather isn't that great, whatever. I want to conserve power. I also have that mini PC. How is the sound quality in here? You know what? Let me put that right out of the way. It is not a problem. I work with headphones in here. I keep my doors open wherever I can. I've done a ton of projects in this van. I never had a client yet complain about anything regarding the sound. Whatever compromise I'm taking in return, I'm rewarded with so much inspiration. I have better overall mental health. I think I write better music because of that. I'm just all the way through a much happier person. Computer, Ventilator ein. For internet, I use this 4G hotspot with true unlimited data. Also, I have a two-way satellite pager that I take on all my hikes for emergencies or in the worst case, if I have absolutely no cell phone coverage, I could even communicate with a client through this. That concludes my tour. Great you made it to the point of this video. If you have any specific questions, please leave them in the comments. I try my best to answer them all. If you like this type of content, I'm going to upload more videos in the future about the van conversions, the actual steps building this van out, about van life in general, about music production. Also, I'm on Instagram, Van Composer, where I post pictures from being on the road.
So, thank you so much for watching and being here, and I see you in the next video. Computer, Licht aus. Thank you.